I'm Alex Wolf from Information Week's Wolfstein blog, and we're going to build a quad-core PC with Intel's hot new Core 2 Extreme QX 9770 processor. Let's get started. Okay, so this is the motherboard. It's an Asus P5E64, but that's a fancy way of saying it's got the new Intel X38 chipset, which can support this 1600 MHz frontside bus in the Core 2 quad processor. This is the motherboard. Look at those cooling pipes there, which is a big characteristic of the Asus board, and it's great. It really keeps the stuff cool. Now for the for the heat sink, I got a silent whisper. Look at this thing. This is huge. Look at that heat sink there. Um, this is it's very, very important when you're putting together a modern quad-core build to have proper cooling for your enclosure. It's not like in the old days. Okay, so the whole trick now is to install the processor in the socket. This is no easy thing. This is the QX9770, I believe it's 3.2 megahertz. Core 2 Extreme, it's the high end of the line. This is not even officially released yet. This is a review copy, of course. Just looking at the darn thing doesn't really mean much. Okay, so you realize I'm violating all the principles of... Um, good static electricity practice here. So you lift up the uh, thing of these pins. Now I'm going to stop the camera and you see you have the uh, the gel, the lithium gel on the bottom. You have to remove this, make a good fit. I'm going to stop the camera and in about three hours if I don't snap off the pins it will be attached and we will be ready to put it in the case. Okay, we actually got the heat sink on now here you can see, can you see this, the um, the pins, where the pins poke through. All of these heat sinks have a problem. The top, look at this, the top looks killer, right? And the bottom, the attachment method is, is really just, it's just crap. The only one I've ever worked with that has a proper attachment method, a hard screw attachment method, is the... Um, is an aftermarket StarTech, but the thing wears like a whirs like a Harrier jet, so it's not really usable. So this looks good. The problem with these pins, you see, it's a it's a splined hole with a plunger that comes down to keep the pins separated. Let's go to the enclosure and get ready to put it in. Here is our um, HP reused box. I've already got the power supply in. So the power supply cabling. Okay, we got the Asus motherboard installed here. So a couple of things here that are really interesting. So this board went in very smoothly. I don't know if you can see this. This faceplate here on the rear. This is the first time I've ever seen it. It's padded on the back, which gives you some play so you can cinch the motherboard up close. Um, this motherboard, I have to say, this is Asus. Again, this is an Asus motherboard. My two favorite motherboards, well, I like Asus. I like Intel's motherboards. I like uh, Elite Group, ECS. This one went in really smooth as far as the mating. Um, the screws. This is a 750-watt power supply here to support the hot graphics cards. We're going to put it here. This is the reused... HP case, which I salvaged. This thing is built like a brick brick house. It's unbelievably heavy. I actually went, I was going to buy a lighter case because I don't know how to move this thing around. Oh, let me show you one more thing here. So this is the case, right, the HP case. I cut, I was very concerned that this case did not support adequate cooling. So I cut a hole in the side. Um, I put a standard fan in there. I salvaged the top plate from a StarTech CPU cooler and epoxied it here. You can't really see. This looks good here. This is unbelievably crude. Um, I had a hole cutter, my old 3 8 of an inch Black & Decker um, cordless drill would not cut through the aluminum. I had to drill 40 3 8 of an inch holes around here and punch it out and then it was all jagged, so I put this over. Anyway, it's a it's a sad, sad story, but it also shows how 
Uh, you know, my thesis is it's the old Heath kit in the back of the closet thesis that what people say they do and what they actually do are two different things. So now you look at this. The great thing here is I am going to have clearance. I'm going to have air coming in here, coming out the back. Um, so those are my pointers. So look, we've installed the CPU, we've installed the heat sink, we've installed the motherboard. In the next episode, next week, we're going to hook this sucker up, put all the things, button it down, and then comes the hard part, getting the software all to work. That's next time on, on Flip Video. Build a PC Chronicles.